Hello, it's Mark Matosh, Jeff from Mark on 3D, and today we will be continuing on with our wonderful scene. Scene 1. Now, let me just quickly jump over to here. Let me just make sure that I am live, because I did have a bit of a kerfuffle last time. And that is good. I am live. Let's dance. And we'll close all these windows, because I don't need them. All right. So, here we go. <laughs> Um, so I did the body motion capture. Actually, let's kind of play what we've got at the moment. Um, so this is what we've got at the moment. Ruby, you told me the car'd be ready by now. Yeah, I know, Leo. This car is meant to be doing the rounds by now, getting it up for auction. Yeah, I know. We are losing money each day. I am losing money each day, not you. I put just as much as you did in. Yeah, fix that at the start. But I'm the one who had to sell my home to keep this. They will have hair. It's okay. See that over there. That's where I'm sleeping to save hey. money. I'm the only one putting in the hard yards. Let me know if you can't hear anything. Look, I'm in terms of audio on the video. To, to help me out? I can't afford that. It's not my fault the internal combustion engine... So yeah, that's pretty good. It's coming along quite nicely. However, now let's kind of build scene two. So what I'm going to do straight away is I'm just going to go save as, and we'll save this as scene two. Save as... Let's now go, I'm going to delete these characters. So I'm going to select all this, select all this. Let's go collection one while we're at it. Let's just go delete. Let's come down into here and select all this, select all this, and we will delete. Increase the size to four and a half thousand. From here, we're going to import our current um, animations. So let's now go import. Let's go append. Sorry, so I'm appending everything. Um, let's go up into mocap, and I've already kind of imported everything in and done all this jazz. Joe scene to blend. So let's double click on that one. There we go. Let's click on collection, collection. And I'm hoping when he comes in, there he is lovely all right that's a good start let's grab where is he is it me touching the keyboard wrong audio so let's come back into the sequencer where's my audio we're going to delete this audio and we'll go to frame one cool beans shift a let's add in a sound come up into raw audio scene two all right. So this time when I recorded it, I just didn't realize it was going to be that long. This time when I recorded, hey, just grip. Um, I actually brought the audio file into Reillusion and kind of played it from there. So now all these animations will link up, just kind of make it a little bit easier. So you'll see that every character starts with me pressing the space bar. <laughs> all right, let's draw that display waveform, mono... And let's go shift plus. Leo, can you hand me that please? Cat dad, welcome. Let me get that for you. There we go. All right. What are you doing here? Whoa, Ian's very loud. That's fine. We can deal with that a little bit later. For now, let me turn off recording. I want to move this character to about here-ish. Oh, the door. I didn't think about the door. All right, so what we'll do is he's going to come in about here. And, yep, so he's talking here. Um, Ruby will be standing here, and what's his face? Leo's going to be sitting at the back there. So let's now bring in the other character. Let's go file, import, file, append. Let's go up. two ruby two and this will be a collection as well collection collection and this will bring in all that body motion as well there we go all right cool bananas armature two, one two with one and he will be standing like this and let's kind of just get him in the right position there we go so he's 
I know that it's going to be roughly standing about here. It's not too bad. It's kind of standing behind the car. Alright, and we'll fix that later. Moving back over. So what's that? We're still gonna go a little bit further, so probably out to here. There we go. Nice. Nice! Alright, now let's bring in our last character, file append collections who we got so we've done joe now we need to bring in leo what is going on mr cad are you feeling alive and well <laughs> so now we've brought in our last chap and i was planning on him actually sitting down so i kind of obviously pressed the space bar first oh that actually worked out really well so he's kind of got his back I'll put a chair there. That's fine. And so he's kind of... Okay, so we will put a chair in the scene here. And so he needs to be sitting like this. And so what happens is... He's talking. What? There we go. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's pretty good. And so pretty much instantly it's came in. James, welcome. Stream's a little shaky, but could be on my end. Mm, maybe. All right, so these are our characters now. And then if we kind of just press play, <laughs> they all start off by touching the keyboard. <laughs> all right, so I've got to fix up this chap's hand. Leo, can you hand me that, please? Let me get that for you. What are you doing here? I'm here to help Ruby get the job done. I told you not to call him. No worries. Uh, I'll just leave then. No, Joe, please stay. I, look, I really need your help. Hm. I'm sorry there is bad blood between us, but... Business, business is business. business. Yeah, I didn't realize that involved stabbing your business partner in the back. So there's all these little things kind of where the hand's I'm going through the body. I'm here to get your money back by helping you finish this restoration. If he's here to help, I want out. I want my money back. All of it. What? I... I can't afford that. No. I will buy you out. Oh my goodness. Fine. You're a loss. I love this motion capture suit. The audio needs to be fixed, definitely, but that's, you know, future market. This time, problem. I screw you over. Fine. Except that you have no responsibility over this car anymore. Fine. Done. There we go. So those hands are kind of out of sync a little I bit. I hope it all falls apart. And that's where he kind of like walks out. So we'll put a walk animation on him as he just leaves. And then you see, we'll move him around. <gasps> no, I don't have him sitting down. Cool. So that sucks. So I actually did body recording of him actually sitting down and that's kind of like where he will turn on the engine. But it didn't record. Anyway. All right. Hey, James. Chris. Hey. Um, Ahmad, when you want to learn animation, but you only have a gig eight... Mate. Well, actually, this scene is eight gig of RAM. <laughs> but this is a big scene. That is no excuse. You can still do 2D animation. And I've got uh, two long playlists on doing 2D character design and 2D animation. That's how I started. The night was moist. It was raining cats and dogs. No, it was raining dogs. I'm glad I didn't step in a poodle. My game project files and source codes are free only for 30 minutes. Cool. Um, bro, wash hands, wash hands. Good luck. <laughs> okay, no worries. So, that's actually really good. I'm fairly happy with that. Um, definitely this, this first bit here. Yeah, see, this hand is actually meant to be sitting on his leg. Ugh. So we've got some weird mapping issues around here. That's probably just some weight painting. But what we can do is actually take that back into iClone 7, re-weight paint that all. 
and then re-import that character. So that's no big dramas there. It's working really well. Um, this is the most... <laughs> For now, yes. I had I had plans, other plans. It was meant to be a little bit more diverse, but... Uh, oh, well. Or it's already pretty diverse. Um, this character here was also meant to be an Australian. However, the two people who I reached out to said no bing well they said yeah we'll do it we'll do it but they never got around to doing it and i waited for one person to do it for eight weeks i gave another person two weeks so i gotta push along i've got 25 days before this has to be finished all right so the next bit is this is going to be kind of like a really lab laborious report yeah that's the word and it's more now i gotta sync up these animations to uh, the facial animation. So let's quickly jump over into, let's open up a new file. I gotta remember where all this stuff is and then we'll go through and we'll rename all the facial motion capture stuff. So let's select all that, delete, file. Ah, oh, I've only got one to do. So let's go file, open recent, open, don't save. Let's come back out into mocap. We are doing Joe scene two face. Oh, I spilled some water. All right, let it bring up. Thank you very much. So here are all the characters. And so the reason why I've imported multiple versions of him is because each one of these is a different line in the script. And so what I need to do is save each one of these shape keys. So it's going to be a little bit of a laborious task, but you know what? It needs to be done. So let's come up into here. Let's go into dope sheet to actually make life easier. I'm going to expand this again. We will go into the, not LNLA editor, the dope sheet here. This one, we're going to go into the shape key editor. This one's going to be the action editor. So we've got the body selected. Let's go on to the first body. And this one will be Joe underscore scene two under, well actually Joe underscore zero. I'm gonna select all that and then we'll put one on the end. Let's hide that so I know I've done that one. Control V two. And then you'll see as I do this and then we go back into the main scene, all we're gonna be doing is importing these actions. And then we're going to be kind of lining that up. Uh, one, two, three. This one will be four. Hide. Um, oh, and as well, we've got to clean up the motion. So let's go five. Hide a new control V six. So those are our shape keys. H, let's to hide that. Now the th next thing we need to do, let's get rid of all these mouths because it's a little bit creepy, but I need to get the tongues because the tongues have their own shape key. So we've got our um, thing above over there. Let's go control V, C, and we'll call this uh, T. And that'll be one. So let's just quickly copy that. So I can just do control V again. There we go. And hide. Let's select this two. Control V, three. And we're just gonna kind of go through this bit. Needs to be done. Um, we go five and we go Control V, six. So now we've done our tongues. The next thing we need to do is select our rigs. And now we're down into here. So let's now go control V and I'm gonna change this to body. And let's select all that copy onto the end one. No, two, three, up, four, Yeah, that's right. Okay. Five and lucky last control V six. 
So the next thing we need to do is we need to clean up some of the data because there is just way too much data in here. So for instance, if I click on the bones, um, I can probably get rid of this now. Come up to here, we go into the graph editor. We will just see that there is a stupid amount of stuff. Now, for instance, if we go in here and we go just into pose mode and select this bone itself, I'm only concerned about the rotation. So rotation, so these four here, the location, there are no stat, um, settings for the location because that bone is parented to the clavicle or the shoulder. No, that bone there is, but it's bone, but no, no, no. So we don't care about location and we care about scale because that should be all controlled by this bone. So now if I come in and select everything, I can go spacebar over here on the left and go clean frames. And we can see just how much data has been removed. So let's quickly do that on all the other ones. Ah, oh, come on. Really? Can I just go over here and clean frames? Yeah, let's do that. Clean frames. Clean frames. Clean frames. And clean frames. But still, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, why are these guys overlapping? So I'm just, these are kind of, I've just dumped these into this file so I can extract it all out. I don't want to be importing all these characters into the main file and then grabbing it out like that. That doesn't really work. All right. Well, I've got, um, I just got Discord, which pretty much is just open at the moment. Um, considering the fact that I've only got two Patreons, eh, just send me a message on Patreon. I'll get back to you. Can you import DV whatever file format they are? So if they're an FBX, yeah, go nuts. OBJ, go nuts. Other formats, yes. Um, I don't know what type of uh, format that one is. So we've got these bones. Now, if we go into pose mode, if we go into pose mode, we'll still see that we've got all these um, things. You know, the things are the things. Yeah, we got all them. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is select the first vertice and you can see this massive list so X location waste actually I think that one's going to stay there but big toe location blah 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 if I delete this first keyframe boop. control Z control Z did I no no that's right Delete keyframes. Have I stuffed something up? Okay, let's go the period key. There we go. So that's fine. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, gosh. What have I done? Oh, no. No, 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 that's fine. Yes, you stupid idiot. So, um, we are only caring about the rotation of the jaw and we don't want the head rotation and we don't need anything else because what we're going to be doing is we've already imported that character in. So we've imported this character and we're going to be using all that data. And what we're going to be doing is coming over the top and putting in the jawbone. So if I were to come into pose mode, Sorry, just had a uh, bit of a brain fart. Couldn't remember what I was doing. So this facial bone is what we're after. No, the jaw bone. So we're only after the jaw bone here to control the mouth going up and down. There is a head bone in here that we will be removing as well. So let's select the head bone and we will delete. Oh, actually. Uh, let's go all the way to the start. I'm just thinking because the eye bones as well. Yeah. So we need to get rid of the head bones on them all. So let's go delete those keyframes. And we will now do the same for over here. So we select this one. Let's go into first frame. 
And then we go into, maybe I can just expand all this, jaw root, and then we can just select the heads, delete. There we go. So we're just literally just cleaning up data at the moment just to make our lives easier. Come on, turn around when we start bringing these into Blender. So first frame, delete, and then let's get rid of the head. Let's come into here. Now, um, the reason why it is like this is because I did the motion separate to the body. I did the motion separate to the facial animations um, because I don't have like a proper head rig. I mean, I did create one a little while back, but it just seems to be, actually no, it worked fine. But then when I actually put it into using it at the same time as a perception neuron, the camera, for the head was rotated 180 degrees. So the there was like this really weird mesh issue that happened. So let's go select all that, delete. Let's come into here, delete the first keyframe, delete the first keyframe, expand on this. We select Let's just go back. Did I delete the wrong one? Just want to make sure. I mean, I can always re-import it, but... Yep, head, cool, delete. Let's come into here. Um, delete the first key, delete the first keyframe down there. Select head, delete, you. Delete the first keyframe. Head, delete. There we go, control S. <coughs> Excuse me. Is there anything else I need? <coughs> All right, let's have a look. Da -da -da -da. Let's see. Sorry, let's come back. Can you import the dirt? No. Yeah, FBX. Yeah, so it's FBX. Go nuts. If it's ASCII, you might need a converter, which is. Autodesk, you need to find Autodesk FBX converter, and then that'll convert it to whatever the format Blender accepts. I don't think Blender accepts the AC blah, blah, blah. So just be wary of that. Uh, the scene also, but isn't the don't know. Um, Bruno, post link to the video. <coughs> Police officers, beautiful. Check it out. Whose DDS files isn't, okay. Uh, you can use oh, oh, oh nice what are they i just opened up chat i don't have the link i can't see it in chat right if you want jump on the discord <laughs> um so now we've done that let's save them i'm just trying to think have i missed something i believe i've missed something but that's fine we can work that out later from here, let's go shift S. Let's just save that, which is going to be a jerk. Now we go link. I'm going to link these animations. Let's jump out, jump out. Mocap. Joe scene. No. Face. Joe scene two. Actions. And then we should have a nice big list. We've got our body didn't name them properly what's this b okay so b is the rig this is the tongue and this is the face you idiot that is a terrible idea link and so now all that stuff is in this scene so for instance if we go now into animation don't die on me Oh my goodness. And if you watch the tutorial from Friday, what we can do is we can just push down these animations. And that one. And now we can scrub through it absolutely perfectly, you little ripper. Let's maybe just start renaming some of these. So who are you? You are armature underscore Joe. You are um, um, underscore Ruby, just to make our lives a little bit easier. 
and you are um, underscore Leo. Let's now go back into Joe and let's just work on Joe for a little bit. We need to import the next animation. So what I'm going to do is I can do this. It's a bit of a funky way, but we can do it. Let's select armature or oh, armature CC base temp motion. That's this one. Let that be a jerk. Push down. Now I've got two of them. Beautiful. Let's delete that one. Now what I can do is I can go shift A. What are we after? Joe. This is the armature. So we need body O. That one. Body. 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 There we go. And then I need to make that. Actually, no, that's fine. So let's find out where he talks now. And now this is kind of like the bit where we're going to be fluffing around a little bit. Leo, can you hand me that, please? Let, let me get that for you. Okay. So yeah, this is where we'll probably need just to rotate the arm a little bit. Which is fine. I mean, that's just a small cleanup. And this is the body, so, okay. Okay, how are we going to do this? Please. Let me get that for you. Beautiful. What do you that's a good lineup. And then from... From here, let's go edit that one. Nope. And so the reason why I'm editing, we're in the action editor. The reason why I'm editing is then it'll create that new layer. I don't know how to create a new layer. It's really annoying. Add, add action strip. Add, add track. Ah, screw you. All right. So with this one now, we go Shift A and let's go into Joe Scene Body. Actually, let me just show you quickly now while we're here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the body. Um, and then from here, this is CC Base Body. I'm going to guess it's this one. Let's increase that. There is no facial motion capture on that one. So let's go to the start of this clip here. We've got our select our track selected. Now I can go shift A, Joe scene one. And then if we play it, we should have the full facial animation. Let me get that for you. What are you doing? Oh, it's a little bit off. Okay, let's work that out. Okay, that seems fine. All right, and now we can go into back into the body. Oh, sorry, let's select the armature. Oh, right, that arm's annoying me. Let's fix the arm first. So I'm going to come into here. Let's bring up the graph editor. Graph. Graph editor. Oh yes, it's not delightful. We go into... Ah, dang it. Hang on, let's work backwards. Give me my NLA editor. NLA. NLA editor. Apparently, if I select this tab to go into edit mode. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. Oh jeez. Blender's angry. Blender's angry. <laughs> Shift S. It's okay, Blender. I got you back. So I'm just gonna select the bone. 
Oh, I, you know what? I haven't done that thing. You know, I clean up all the keyframes. So let's quickly try and select every bone. Come on, buddy. Select everything. There we go. Dang it. You can do it. Space down the bottom. Uh, we are clean up. Is that right? Nope. 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 Control Z. Come on, buddy. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Last video, uh, yeah, so I think it's just confused with what PS4 death standing. All right, uh, looks like aliens pop out. <laughs> no, it's that Malcolm in the middle thing. Oh, come on, Blender, you're killing me. This is what happens when you don't clean up the animation data. There we go. All right, let's do space. Clean up keyframes. Excellent. And then what do we say we do? We go in and select the very first keyframe. Does, does that look like the very first key, key? Let's select. Come on. There we go. Delete keyframes. Boop. Ah, oh, there we go. Alt H. Ah, oh, there we go. All right. Now we can come in and we will select this bone. Is this the bone we're after? Beautiful. Is it the bone that we're after? So I'm going to press that. It seems like it. So now we got to work out which one's which. So I'm going to hide it all. Except for this one. Let's select everything and we go GY. Which way are you moving your hand, buddy? GY, so it moves it. Okay, that's that one. Let's do it like this. Go GY. Oh, geez, what's with the arm, buddy? All right, well, let's kind of maybe do that. Let's select this one, and we'll go GY. Hmm. It's really weird. It doesn't seem to have held its shape. There we go. Let's bring that out like that. And then if we come up here and go tab back into edit mode, oh, that is so good. So yeah, this arm's really weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. Let's come into our, no. Into object mode, let's select our body. Come into the modifiers. Let's go preserve volume. That's a bit better, isn't it? We'll do that with the shirt as well. Preserve volume. Yeah, we still got this. This is really weird. So I think that is the actual character mesh that I've stuffed up. But I'm not too concerned about that because I can actually bring it in, uh, bring it back into iClone and fix up the mesh, but yeah, so that's a bit weird. Definitely not right. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Ah, jeez. Yeah, now it's... Okay, well... Okay. Let's maybe go off that bone then. And let's go into, select our bone, armature. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Pose mode. And select our bone. Which one are you, buddy? Oh yeah, that's right. Let's go tab to go back into edit mode. And it's this one here. And what I'm gonna do is kind of just bring that arm back around. I think maybe I might've been having a hissy fit as I was doing 
the motion capture. So let's go G to the Y, bring it back. And then we'll work out which way it goes that way. So for now, I'm just trying to do a global fix. No, not that one. that elbow that's disgusting yeah so that's definitely something gonna have to fix up <laughs> it's about my crush <laughs> what what happened <laughs> what are you just talking about <laughs> oh gosh weird so this bit here so that's me kind of like tapping on a phone yeah that mesh is just yuck it's alright that should be a semi easy fix G to the Y Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Not that one. Cheat the why. Don't ask. Something like that. No, not that one. Let's go like this now. G to the Y. Hmm. Yes. All right. So the last time I did, I remember how I did it last time. So what I did is I am blaming the shoulder. But what I did is I picked a keyframe that was fairly close to something else. So like this one and let's go and let's go rotate on the Z axis. Let's kind of bring it, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back to me. Oh, wait. It's not exactly going to work, is it? Because uh, this arm is wrong as well. Oh, fuck. Okay. Let's leave it as is for now. I need to fix him up. Let's go back into tab mode, tab that out, and let's go find our next scene. Whoops. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Back up here. What are you doing here? I'm here. I'm here to help Ruby. I'm here to help Ruby get... I'm here. There we go. Okay, let's select this track. Oh, jeez. Shift A. Um, Joe scene body. Joe scene body 2. Let's just go object. Sorry, just trying to line this up. Doing here. I'm here to help Ruby get the job done. I told you not to call him. That's not too bad. So this one needs to go above. So let's click that. Add. Add track. And then I'm going to push this one up and around. So let's go Y. There we go. And so now the top animation will win, which is exactly what we want. All right. And so what that means now is we need to come into here. Let's find our animation. Come on, you jerk. Where are you? B01. That's all Ruby. What am I looking at? Action editor. I'm mean, looking at the action editor. That's what I want. No, maybe go. Oh, maybe let's go dope sheet. How the heck do I edit this? Why are you being a jerkosaurus? Let's go back into the 
action editor. Oops. Come on, don't be a stooge. Pose mode. And we will come in. Let's kind of press that. I am doing the right thing. Let's grab, why isn't that, where's the dope sheet? Dope sheet? Why aren't you coming up now? Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. <laughs> uh, let's grab these last couple of frames. Delete keyframes. And what this will do is it'll shorten that clip, hopefully. Why? Action editor? There we go. All right, let's try the action editor then. Delete keyframes. You've got to be joshing me. All right, because I didn't... Because I linked it rather than append it, I should have linked it. I should have appended it. Now I actually got to come back into here and actually edit. Stinking animations in here. So let's select all this and probably these frames here, delete keyframes. Let's go into the lobby, in the no, 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 lobby. Control S to save. Come to here, control S. Let's just go tab to go out of edit mode. Control S. This is a big file now, probably. <laughs> Let's go file, open recent scene two, and then hopefully that clip there will be a lot shorter. Hopefully. Oh, fire blender. You're killing me, Mickey. You're killing me, Mickey. Will it work or are you going to die? All right. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to let Blender die now for a little bit. Um, I think it's because I'm streaming at the same time and I'll show you what else I've been working on just quickly. My Greeble ship. All right. So this is a separate project that I've been working on. Oh my goodness, please load. We're getting there. So this is... Another little sci-fi project that I'm working on. Let's just go tab. There we go. So I'm slowly building kind of like this capital ship just for funsies. Um, I think this will be part of the next short film. I will probably be, I'll be definitely putting in some extra greebles in here. And as well, this texture here, oh, funnily enough, <laughs> is my texture available on Gumroad. Um, but yeah, so this is something I'm working on now. Um, and I'll probably share this project file with the Patreon people. What else? That's about it. It's just going to be a quick stream tonight because obviously that scene is ch chundering along. Um, pluttering, pluttering. I don't know the word at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm trying to work it out. So definitely in here will be kind of like a cockpit and there'll be a whole bunch of crud in here, stuff on top and underneath. The engines, I don't know what kind of engines we're going to be looking at. It's my voice. So, but anyway, that seems to be coming on quite nicely. I'm actually really happy how that's turning out and we'll just slowly be pluttering along. You know, when you need a project that you can just jump in for five minutes and then jump out, this is what this project is. So it's quite nice. Um, hopefully by next week, we will have a lot more of the short film done. Hopefully all the animations are in and we fix up a whole bunch of that. And then we can start going back into developing the scene, putting in, 
um, objects, this, that, and other, to make it mo mo to make it more cohesive. So we will go from there. But anyway, let's leave it for there for tonight. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me keep up to date with my content. Um, what else? Tomorrow's tutorial is a perception neuron to iClone 7, how to set it up. It actually took me a little bit to work out. Tuesday's Blender add-on. I'm not sure which one it is because I don't have one yet. Thursday will be a landing gear tutorial. So on how to model a landing gear and then how to rig the landing gear. Um, and we'll be doing a few fun things there. So we're going to have pistons going left, right, and center. Um, it's not going to be a conventional, you know, just a landing gear that comes down. It's going to have, you know, all various folds and turns and so on and so forth. So, love that. Are those rectangles where the ship come in? Yes. So these are small ship port. Um, I was trying to build it up for scale. So, but obviously I still got to model a whole bunch more. Yeah, I kind of, I don't know if I'm keen on those lights there. I don't know, I'm not feeling it. I think I might do something a little bit different. Maybe just putting some point lights up the top here to shine down. And then we'll put a decal over that to say like bay one, bay two, bay three, so on and so forth. Just something a little bit different just to break up the monotony. Um, we don't, we probably wouldn't be this close to the scene. Um, as you can see, there's no bevels around the edges. But I mean, from afar, you know, that looks pretty schmick. So, but yeah, that's coming along. Lenath's oh, delightful. Yeah. What else? That'll be all. So let's leave it at that. Um, until next week, I'll see you guys then. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, if you can, share the channel around. Help me get to that 